Hey guys, Mike Hatch with Explore Scientific. Today I want to show you guys how to assemble our truss tube Dobsonian. So we're going to start with a closed box and work our way all the way to a complete assembly. We're going to start out by opening our shipper box, the Dobs. And underneath the shipper box, we'll have our inner box to help protect all the components inside. And upon opening the, the inner box, you'll see that we've got our truss tubes packed neatly and bagged individually. And then underneath, we'll have our mirror box and our rocker box. So now in this first box, I'm going to pull out our mirror box. That'll be the smaller box of the two. It is heavy. It's got some weight, so you'll be need to be cautious on how you lift that. Next, we've got our rocker box and secondary assembly in the larger of the two boxes. And last, we've got our arms here. Now that we've got all of our items unpacked out of the shipper box, we're going to start with our mirror box here and open up this box first. Always be careful when you're opening up the product not to dig too deep and actually scratch the product. Carefully pull the box off of the mirror box. Here's our mirror box. Within this mirror box, we've got a foam fitting here to help protect the mirror in transit and also store your accessories. So we definitely recommend that you keep that piece of foam uh, for future use. Now within here, we've got our battery pack for our fans, red dot viewfinder, a one inch extension to help reach focus on your eyepiece combinations. Two clutches for the Dobsonian. And your bag of accessories for assembly. And now we're gonna move on to opening up our rocker box and secondary assembly. All right, now that we've got our box open, we're gonna go ahead and empty out the contents inside. Carefully tip this. This will help you remove that rocker box and secondary assembly. Here, wrapped in the bubble wrap, is the secondary assembly with the focuser, secondary mirror, and everything you need there. And here we've got our rocker box. Now we're moving on to the next step. And for the assembly of the mirror box, you will need four truss tubes, two altitude wheels, four bolts with knobs, and two hex screws with the sleeve. We're gonna start with the altitude wheels. And first what you'll do is you'll take the skinnier of the bolt with the knob. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take that thinner bolt and put it through the top hole of this altitude wheel. And we're gonna thread that into the one of two holes in the lid of the mirror box. And as you're threading these bolts and screws in, you don't wanna get everything nice and tight. We want to make sure everything's nice and loose so we can get everything adjusted and assembled first. Then we'll go back through and tighten everything down. Now we're going to move on to the thicker of the two bolts. And we're going to put that at the bottom hole and thread that into the same top or bottom hole down at the bottom of the mirror box. And the third piece for this side 
you will use the supplied hex wrench and the hex screw with the sleeve will then go into the middle hole of the altitude wheel. All right, now we're moving on to this other side here. Same steps as the previous side. We're just gonna repeat that over here. Take the thinner bolt, put that through the top, and that'll then thread into the hole of choice. And what that is for is that allows you to have a degree of freedom uh, to balance your telescope. So say you have um, lighter or heavier eyepieces, depending on your setup, you will use one of the two holes that have already been pre-drilled. Again, we're not gonna tighten everything down completely. We just wanna get it set inside until we have finished our assembly. All right, now that we've got our two altitude wheels installed, we're gonna move on to installing our truss tubes onto the mirror box. And inside the mirror box, you can see that we've got four spots here. that have got knobs, and a triangle piece for tension. So we'll take each truss tube, and as you can see on the bottom portion here, we've got a nice groove for it to slip, slide nice and smoothly over the bolt in each corner. You'll slide the groove over the bolt and tighten down the knob until the truss tube is secure. Then you'll move on to the next corner, repeating the same steps. You'll slide the groove over the bolt, and tighten down till it's secure. Next truss tube. Slide the groove over the bolt and tighten until it's secure. Repeating the same steps for each truss tube. Now that we've got our four truss tubes installed, we're gonna go back through our altitude wheels and hand tighten each one of these bolts. You don't want to tighten down too much. You don't want to flex anything that doesn't need to be flexed, but hand tight should be perfectly fine. And don't forget the center hex bolt here. Now we're going to move on to the other side and hand tighten each bolt and you don't want to forget about the hex bolt right in the middle. Now that we've got our complete mirror box assembly with our two altitude wheels and four truss tubes, we're gonna move on to our secondary assembly. Now we're finally getting closer to the finished product. Here we've got our open cage secondary assembly, pre-installed with a two inch rack and pinion focuser, a viewfinder base, and in order to install this on the truss tubes, you'll need the included four short bolts with knobs. Now I've taken our mirror box assembly and I've placed it on the ground here uh, just for ease of installation due to height. On the top of each truss, we've got a wing. And so what you'll do is you'll match each wing and the hole and center it up as a pair. And this is for preparation of installing the secondary cage. Now that we've got our truss tubes paired, we're gonna take our secondary cage and one bolt Stick the, two, the bolt through the two trusses. Stick the bolt through the two trusses. And then that'll thread into the corresponding hole on the secondary cage. And as we go around this cage, we're gonna install each one of the four bolts into the corresponding holes. All right, now that we've got the four bolts installed into the four pairs of trusses, we can now go ahead and tighten them all down hand tight.
We are at the final steps for the assembly of this truss tube Dobsonian. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put our assembled mirror box and secondary cage into our rocker box and then install the clutches. So careful not to lift the mirror box assembly by the truss tubes just in case they're not installed securely. So we're going to go ahead and just lift it by our altitude wheels and carefully place it inside the rocker box. There'll be two supplied clutches in your Dobsonian package and one of each clutch will be installed on the side of this mirror box right above the handle. Now that we have finally completed the assembly of the truss tube Dobsonian, we can go ahead and remove all of our protective packaging. And we're gonna go over a few of the accessories that are included. Here's our collimation rod. This is to help collimate the primary mirror when needed. Stray light guard that can be installed with the Velcro that's already applied to the shroud exactly across from the focuser. We then have a red dot viewfinder that can be installed into the viewfinder base that is already installed on your secondary cage. And that can be done by using the viewfinder base screws included in your package. Those will be threaded right into the holes. And these will be used to keep the red dots secure in the base. We then have our one inch focuser extension that will be installed right onto the focuser. And that's done by unthreading our two inch tension collar, threading on the one inch extension, and reinstalling the two inch tension collar. Our last accessory that's included is our battery pack for the Dobsonian fans. And that can be installed right next to the fans in between the handle. And that you can use by using the adapter supplied and plugging that right into the port once you've got eight AA batteries installed into the battery pack. So that's it. You have finally completed the assembly of our truss tube Dobsonian. The assembly procedures will be the same throughout our truss tube open cage series. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to give us a call at 866-252-3811 and anyone here would be happy to help you. Keep looking up.